For our first lesson, we're gonna talk about the four rules of firearms. And the reason that we do this is if you have kind of that background that's ground into us at the range every single time we go, it's gonna show in your performance. It's gonna show in how you handle your weapon. So I'm here today with Cody Dobbs. He's been a federal law enforcement officer for five, five years? Five years. Uh, I actually supervised him when I was at the agency, and the funny part about that is his father was my firearms instructor when I was at the academy. So I get a little payback on him. When we're talking about the four room rules of firearms, every time we go to the range, it's ground into us. We're not allowed to shoot until we can recite them. Rule number one, all weapons are always loaded. The reason why this is gonna be important to you is if your character has a gun pointed at him or her, you don't have to sit there and go, ooh, is that gun loaded? Yes, it is, just assume that it is. So if po Cody were to point a gun at me, I don't have to sit there and go, I wonder, uh, no, it is. But it's actually an articulable for you as a police officer when you go in to do your report. The person pointed a weapon at me, I knew they were ready to kill me, so I fired. That's going to show in your performance if you already have that mindset. The second rule of firearms is actually the rule that we see broken the most often. And that rule is keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to fire. And the reason of this is safety. When you have your finger on the trigger, you are aimed in on someone, he's gonna have tunnel vision. He's looking at that person wondering if they're gonna kill him. He's already a little clenched up, nervous. Now if something comes along that startles him, if you have a response in your left hand, your non-trigger finger, and you're gonna have an automatic response in your right finger. So if he startles and clenches, he's going to shoot someone, which is probably not what we're looking for at this point. So as you can see, Cody has his finger indexed. He's ready to fire. And when it's time to go, he can just move it down and pull the trigger. That is the decision. When you put your finger on the trigger, that's when you're deciding to shoot. All right, third rule of firearms relates back to the first rule. If all guns are always loaded, you do not point a weapon at anything you are not willing to shoot. So if you're just walking down the street and you see someone and they look a little weird, it's not time to draw your weapon at yet and point it at them because you're now shown that you're ready to kill that person. All right, fourth and final rule. Be aware of your target and anything that's beyond, also known as your backstop. If Cody were to draw down on our cameraman, Dustin, nothing personal, Dustin. Hey. He better know what's beyond because if he flinches or misses or the bullet over penetrates and he shoots the little old lady standing behind him, we've got a problem. When he pulls the trigger, he is responsible for that round. It doesn't matter that he was intending to hit Dustin if he shoots the little old grandma behind. So as a director, if you have a gunfight and it is in a crowded area, your police officer is probably not going to be running through firing indiscriminately at anything that moves. You're an actor and you're chasing down someone, you're going to want to portray that you're actually aiming and knowing what you're firing at rather than just running and shooting willy-nilly because it's awesome and you're in a gunfight. All right, so in conclusion, we've gone over the four rules of firearms. All guns are always loaded, finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire, never point a weapon at anything you're not willing to shoot or kill, depending on who's saying the rule, and always be aware of your backstop and what's beyond your target. Knowing these four rules is automatically gonna bring more authenticity to your role and your portrayal.